Computer Misuse Amendment Act of 2022 has uh, created or brought a lot of debate between the masses within Uganda, whereby people are more concerned about the clauses they are in. You will see that this Computer Misuse Amendment Act of 2022 has come uh, with punitive measures to punish the internet users when it comes to a time when they publicize, when they air out information and solicited for information that is malicious and information that intends to demean or malign a particular individual, a group of persons, a tribe or a religion. It has, it will bring a lot of issues when it comes to interpretations. Now, if you say unsolicited information, besides the English interpretation of unsolicited information, the law has not come up, the act has not come up to define what amounts to unsolicited information. The law has also not come up to, to, to give the scope of what amounts to offensive communication from its beginning to its ending and what comprises such. At the end of the day, you will find that many people will be held uh, victims unknowingly. Initially, under the Evidence Act, uh, it could not matter how you have secured that evidence. What matters at that particular moment is that evidence you have gotten relevant to a particular matter before court. But now a question will come, how have you gathered that evidence? Initially, people would do recordings, uh, audio recordings and video recordings in a bid of securing evidence which can be used against uh, such offenders. But now, as you are presenting that evidence, even this offender will have to take you under the Computer Misuse Act because the evidence you are submitting before court has not been authorized. Such